good day, beautiful people. The Congo is heavily on my heart. It's just an atrocity to see what they're going through over there. Uh, every time I think of Congo DRC, I just think of King Leopold in Belgium and how much they robbed and pillaged and just decimated the Congo and what they did to the people there. Now, another reason the Congo is so heavily on my heart is because over 5 million Africans are thought to have come from Angola and the Congo area and region, which means that most African Americans would have blood or some type of lineage from Angola in the Congo region. Now, if you don't know about King Leopold and the chocolate hands and what he did and how he maimed the people there, you should go and really read about it. It's disgusting. It's still disgusting to think about all the wealth and riches that the, that Belgium gained from the Congo and the atrocities that they did in the Congo. I just often wondered like how people can be so barbaric. It's just unbelievable. If you chop people's hands and feet off, how do you expect them to work? And so at that time, what they were going after and what Leopold was going after was rubber. Now, in 2023, it's coltane. So Colton is farmed and mined right now in the Congo. The people there only make about average $2.50 a day, if that. They have children as young as four years old out there mining for this stuff. They're dying. They have headaches every day. They don't have enough to eat, and it's just crazy. In addition to Coltane, there's gold, diamonds, cobalt, and zinc also there. Now, Coltane is used in electronics, is used to make heat resistant capacitors and laptop cell phones and other high end electronic devices. And if I'm not mistaken, the Congo is responsible for 80% of the coltane obtained and mined uh, worldwide. So it's just really sad to see that the Congo is still continuously going through this and the fact that these are actually some of our people. And a lot of these other issues are being um, put in the forefront over what's going on here and what has been going on here for hundreds of years. Another story that I saw that's going on in the Congo right now is that the WHO, the World Health Organization, just allocated payments out to sexual victims of some of the workers that were actually working in the Congo while the Ebola outbreak was going on, about 104 women in the Congo were paid $250 each, okay, per victim that were sexually exploited by officials working to stop the Ebola virus. This story just came out November 14, 2023. $250 each. It's just, it's, it's like, it's never, never, never ending. I heard nothing about this in the news. This is something I just saw while looking up, you know, information about, information about the Congo. And um, it's just really sad. I, I really wish I could just say it was Congo, but it, this is happening to us all over the world and has been for a very long time, just being stolen from abused, misused, mistreated, neglected, ignored, and it's just so sickening and tiresome. I just had to bring some light to this, to what's going on in, in the DRC right now. Uh, also, if you don't know, the Congo just got really its independence from Belgium in 1960. So that's not, that's not even 100 years ago. And the prime minister, uh, Patrice Lumumba, was assassinated that very first year, that very same year, 1960, he was assassinated. So there is no interest in us being free, just like they did with Haiti, or, or independent or financially stable whatsoever. There's no interest in that, especially if they have an interest in that land. 
I'm just I'm just at a loss for words and disgusted, to be honest. But I wanted to bring light to what's going on in the Congo. Again, if you don't know anything about Patrice Lumumba, please re research him. If you don't know anything about what Belgium did in the Congo, please look it up. It is worth knowing. If you don't know what's going on in current day uh, with the victims being, um, you know, compensated, go ahead and research that. And also with the coltane mining, it was going on in the DRC right now. And all of the people that are being displaced and forced out of their homes right now, it's over 5 million people that have been displaced in some way, form or fashion. And they're refugees. And it, 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 I just don't know what else to say. It's just overwhelming. It's sad. And, you know, I hope that Africa as a whole come together so that we can overcome these atrocities because we can't do it one country at a time. It'll be, we can do it together. We can do it as a diaspora together. So I want to say to you, never forget.